Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta and started his life of crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings, the symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. But is he actually using the wings for anything? Like, is he gonna use them, like, to fly around? Like, he has it as a cape? A starry-eyed encounter. Is that Carmelita? Oh, gosh. And we're gonna meet up with her and have to work with her to try and bring this guy down? What kind of things do we have here? Size destabilizer? Shrink guards by whacking them with the crossbow? <laughs> what? Alright, combat dodge. Sidestep enemies in combat. Turnbuckle launch. Jump to heroic heights. I'm winning combat dodge. I don't know about size to stabilizer, but I can't afford it anyways. Fly, scope out the palace, and then find a way to break into the ballroom. Let's find out who's at this party. Yeah, okay. We count the ballroom. You got it. Well, first I need to equip this other gadget, R2. Sidestep enemies while in combat. Press R2 to dodge while in combat. Uh, but I definitely have to be in combat to get it activated. Gotcha. Can I climb this elephant? Can I hit the elephant? Yeah, okay. Well- Ah! Why is there a snake? That's not the kind of snake I expected in my sneaking game. Oh shit, he's- He's using martial arts techniques on me. Dawn, monkeys. With the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? What? You think I'd forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. Oh, I was just gonna jump into the water, but this makes a lot more sense. Get out of here. Okay, pull me once, snake. Again, not the kind of snake I was expecting in my sneaking game, but I can handle it. So I guess this might be one of the ways I need to sneak on over, but I'm not really sure. I just, I saw the river and I want to cross it. Oh, is this a jumpy thing? Ah, I can't see above it because of bad cameras, but that's okay. I think by the time I recon things, I'm going to have to fight every single enemy here. Shit! Damn it. Can I just run on this? Oh, no! Yep, I deserve that. Oh, what? Okay, that time, I don't think so. I press circle. <laughs> that's why I started moving forward. Because I was holding circle at the time. This is okay. I'll get my health back. I just have to slink off to the side. Come on, keep it a moving. No help, huh? That's fine with me. Health doesn't matter if you don't get hit. Uh. 
This place is going to be a little bit of a trickier navigation than Paris was. Oh, hey. That's interesting. I have to lower the drawbridge, which means I need to collect keys, which means I need to find me some guards with shiny pockets. But I'm fine with just reconning things. I think I have to... Uh, uh, thought it was going to be from up here. Who's in the helicopter? Is it someone from the Claw Gang, or is it going to end up being like Carmelita? Oh boy! This works. Look at this small guy! Look at this goat! You hear a bottle? I do. I do. Gotcha. If I can have like 30 bottles before we even get things started, that'd be great, but we're, we're, we're making our way over. Oh! Shoot. Figure this out. I think I should be able to make the jump from here. Haha! -ha! Easy. I truly am a master thief. Oh shit. What the fuck? He's got a laser. Oh god, I don't even know what the hell to call it. What the hell is that? <laughs> I just. Oh gosh. Alright. It makes me think of that thing from Harry Potter, but I'm not that much of a Harry Potter nerd, so I, I completely don't remember the name of it. So that's a reference fail on my part, but still, it's a laser shooting flying projectile that he just pulls out of nowhere. Crazy. Also, hello. I can use the top of the elephants as a jump point. Intriguing. I'm almost here. Yeah. I'll get the bottom of my own way, game. This is the recon mission. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I can handle these kinds of things. But who is that? Ah! It's the crazy monkey thing. Ah! Snakes, I swear to God. Like, what the hell did he even come from? He just came from the bushes! I like to imagine that these snakes aren't working with the claw gang. They're just assholes. They ambush everybody like that. Here a bottle, and I saw a bottle all the way over here, but I want to get into the ballroom. Ooh. Easy does it, Sly. Just don't go out onto that balcony, and you should remain undetected. Sneak up to the curtains and pull out the spy cam. Okay. So he has the wings being used on a statue. Which Looks like does look cool. Have been welded onto that statue. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. That's okay because you want me to look for an electronic winch. An electronic winch? That could be useful. And then Rahan is not there. There he goes. That's him. Rajat's really oh. pulled out all the stops to impress me at this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Sure. I like how we have this list here, and it just outright points out every single person, even if we haven't seen them. Like Carmelita and the Contessa. And Nayla. Where could they all be? Another Claw Gang member. Our arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Well, we're probably gonna have to go against him. What about this guy? Him too? John Bisson. 
a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian shipping baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. <laughs> Canada. Jean Bisson. That's so pretentious. Why can't he just be Gene Bison? That sound cooler. Oh, geez, that's a Contessa. That's the Contessa, a high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajon's spice ring. I hope so. Uh, I believe that she's a criminal. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajon. And then there's Nayla, who's probably about to step out somewhere too. Carmelita! Nice! But where's Nayla? What if she was just like behind us? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> That'd be fucking terrifying. He just jump scares us. There she is. Nayla, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house and we'll start building a game plan. I'm willing to think that one of the cops is going to end up being a traitor. Probably the Contessa or Stealing Nayla. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, Sooner or later, we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Oh. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Yeah, I'm down for shooting down a chopper. But I'm gonna have to take a look around the place a few times. Get a lay of the land, you know? As someone who can actually navigate, in comparison to, say, Bentley or Murray, who are kind of stuck on the ground a little bit more than, uh, more than I am. Also, it'd be good to try and grab some bottles. Ooh, hello. Booby trap loot! Oh shit! Run it back to the safe house before it self-destructs! Well, this one's pretty close, so that's not so bad. Oh, Jesus, what is this camera doing? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell was that? Of course that was gonna happen. No, get out of here. Thank you for the help. I couldn't see where I was jumping to. This time it didn't have that problem. What the heck? If it was- if it was- if it just wanted me to solve this problem like that, I would have been fine. It was just annoying. But I guess I just glitched out. Saw the booby-trapped thing before it kills us. There. Alright. I want the bottles. I want to patrol the outside of this area. Did we break through this? That's funny. <laughs> we just drove into the gate. These balls are quite a bit more out of the way than the other ones were. But in a more sensible way. Also, I think that guy might have had a key. Oops. Although we might not be going for the key just yet, so maybe no one spawned him. But I do want loot. I accidentally killed the guy who had loot. But Jesus! Come back, monkey! There! I just wanted to pickpocket you. That's... That was a miss. Didn't mean that. Ah, everyone's just got silver rings. You know, usually you wear the rings. 
Just keeping it in your pocket seems counterintuitive. How can you show off your bling if you don't wear it? Well, well, that's fine. <laughs> the snake can stay there. Bottle was on the ground. I thought it was gonna be more in the air. I'm just buying the bottles. Oh, but what I was gonna say is, so in, in Paris, it didn't really seem like there were areas designed specifically for the bottles. They just kind of were just a normal part of the town. Here, it's a little less so. There, these are way more out of the way. Two points where I don't think we'd ever go to except for the express purpose of gathering the bottles. And that's fine. It's just interesting to see. Okay. I don't know if this is a booby-trapped treasure, so I wanted to make sure we get the bottle before we grab this. Okay, we're fine. This thing looks cute. And obviously it's fragile. So, we need to be careful. Here, another bottle. I guess it's down here. Aha! Wow, we heard that. From pretty far away. Now I'm just kind of like wandering around, keeping an ear out. It's for the sake of the bottles, guys. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't going to work out. How do I get back to the lair? Oh, well, not with this camera angle. Ha! I'd never been over that drum before, but I figured it'd be a pretty good way to get across. I hear you, Bottle. I'll get to you, don't worry. Now that is a very suspicious looking statue. The one of Rajan. Or Rajan. With smoke coming out of it? That's worrisome. I need your treasure, man. And then I can get out of here and I can sell it. Nice! A gold ring, wow. Oh shit, no! You bastard! Aw, oh, man! I gotta go all the way back. <sighs> That's really unfortunate. That should have been easy. I should have just been able to kill him. But you know what? To Sly... Sly 2's credit, even games from recent years will have, like, scenarios where my instant kill attack doesn't really trigger when it should. I thought he had something, but he was actually just a decoy. He's got me feeling pretty disappointed. Alright, I want that money. 
I get all the loot in the world, I can keep buying all the different abilities for everybody. And while some of them might be meh, many of them should be pretty useful. I just have to remember I have them. It is nice that they moved away from the whole press R2 to select their ability, and it's only tied to triangle. Having the abilities be on different buttons is, well, that's a standard in gaming. <laughs> Let's you use them at any time you want without having to scroll around. Alright, how many bottles do we have? Nine left to obtain. I wonder where they could be. Okay, you know what? Here, you can live. You've earned this. <laughs> oh shit, that door's closed. I didn't realize that. Okay, I wonder how much this will sell for. This one was not booby-trapped, so it's probably not as good as the other one. Ancestral Kite. Eh, it's still fine. These silver rings and the gold rings, though. Oh my gosh. That set me up. I could just buy these two straight up. But I'll hold off for now. I'll buy them next time I'm here. Yes, I'm gonna end up buying them anyways. Whoops. But I have considerations I want to make first. And more things I want to loot. Alright. So I'm wondering where the next bottles are. There's still nine of them left. The real trick is going to be wondering if it's... If the others are on the other side of the crossing or what? Okay. That was a rude thing to do. I hope none of the bottles are hidden inside of things like this. They shouldn't be. The bottles are pretty fairly distributed around. At least so far. Ooh, now that guy's got loot. I wonder if it's random. It more than likely is. Oh, gold pen. Cool. Now that's something that I I could imagine someone keeping in the back pocket. A ring, meh. Then again, I don't really wear jewelry like at all. So maybe maybe sometimes you do just take it off. But I think these guys are more like thugs, and they just took it off of somebody. Okay. So we're at, we were actually able to cross over to the other side. So many of the bottles are probably just over here. 